Hello friends, I'm Trinity from the Milam Library in Perryville, part of Central Arkansas Library System. Today, I have a preschool story time to share with you about penguins. The first book I'll read is called Grumpy Pants by Claire Messer. The second book I'll read is called Penguin and Pinecone, a friendship story by Selena Yoon. The third one I'll share is called Penguins, Penguins Everywhere by Bob Barner, who was born in our very own state of Arkansas. But first, we always have to read our favorite book. And this one is called If You're Happy and You Know It by David A. Carter. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wag your tail. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wink your eye. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, touch your toes. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! All right. Grumpy Pants, Words and Pictures by Claire Messer. Penguin was in a bad mood. A very bad mood. He didn't know why and he didn't care. He stomped his feet all the way home. He pulled off his grumpy coat and kicked off his grumpy boots, but he was still grumpy. He tried to shake it off, but he was still grumpy. So he pulled off one grumpy sock and then the other, but he was still grumpy. So he took off his grumpy overalls. Nope, still grumpy. Finally, he took off his grumpy underpants. I'm still grumpy, you know. Then Penguin took a deep breath and he counted, count with me, one, two, three, splash. The water was nice and cold. Penguin played with his duck. He hid under the water and made himself a bubble beard. Little by little, he was starting to feel much better. It was time to get out of the tub. He put on his favorite pajamas and he had a steaming cup of hot chocolate. He read his favorite book. He found his favorite teddy and climbed into bed. As Penguin fell asleep, he knew that tomorrow would be a good day day because all the grumpiness had washed away. 
The End. Penguin and Pinecone, a friendship story by Selena Yoon. One day, Penguin found a curious object. What's this? It was, hmm, too brown to be a snowball. Crunch, too hard to be food. Ow, and too prickly to be an egg. Whatever you are, you're cold. Penguin got busy. Knit one, pearl two, burr. Penguin loved his new friend. Whoosh! Wee! Achoo! Oh no! What's wrong with my friend? It's too cold here, said Grandpa. Pinecone belongs in the forest far, far away. He can't grow big and strong on the ice. Penguin sighed. I'd better take you home, Pinecone. Penguin packed his sled for the long journey. The wind pushed hard, but Penguin pulled harder. And finally, the forest, Pinecone, you're home. Penguin made a cozy nest out of the softest pine needles he could find. The day grew hotter and hotter. Goodbye, Pinecone. You will always be in my heart. And look, it says, I love you. Time passed and passed and passed. Had Pinecone grown big and strong like Penguin had? Penguin set off to find out. Pinecone? Look, it's Pinecone. He has on his orange scarf. Pinecone! Penguin and Pinecone played and played. Pinecone was sad to, to see Penguin go. But the forest is no place for Penguin. Penguin and Pinecone may have been far apart, but they always stayed in each other's hearts. When you give love, It grows. The end. Five little penguins. One baby penguin makes a wish. Two baby penguins catch a fish. Three baby penguins slip and slide. Four baby penguins run and hide. Five baby penguins look around, calling mama, mama, mama. And now they are found. Penguins, Penguins Everywhere by Bob Garner. Some penguins live in icy places, and some live in the heat. Their colors help them hide when they fish for fishy treats. Cold penguins huddle close with penguin heat to share. Daddies warm fragile eggs with tender, special care. Hot penguins fluff their feathers to cool off from the sun. Their chicks call out from shady caves to ask for food and fun. 
Noisy penguins waddle and toboggan to the sea. Each one honks to find its mate, wherever it may be. Penguins watch for sneaky seals as they swim and splash and play. Sleepy little penguins in another perfect day. The end. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.